Good morning, guys. This is well, first of all, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Miss Z504, and thank you for tuning in to my esthetician journey. Um, I'm walking to school right now, per usual, and uh, this is my second week, second week of esthetician school. So let's get it. 40 more weeks down to go. It's going by so fast. I can't believe it already. So um, today we're going to be learning about doing mascara again and more with the eyes. We're still in the beginning portion of doing the makeup. We don't get into the advanced part until um, I believe it's next week. I gotta look at the syllabus again, but I believe it's next week when we get into the advanced portion of the um, makeup. So I'm about like six or seven minutes away from school right now. It's mad stuff that's going on guys. Because obviously I'm walking around the city, so I have to be conscious of my surroundings too. But um, I'm going to actually pick you guys up for my lunch break. And inform you guys of what has been going on in class. And I will see you guys in a little bit, okay? Okay guys, this was weekend two, day one, Saturday. I'm so tired. Um, I didn't get a chance to pick up the camera because we were doing a lot of hands-on stuff that required us to be on our feet and we were being timed. So I promise tomorrow I'm just gonna leave my camera running if anything and you guys can see just like candid shots even if I can't talk. Um, but today I practiced for the first time putting makeup on somebody that was not my complexion. The, um, she was my classmate, she's white, and she had a little bit of rosy cheeks, which worked to my advantage and which works to her advantage because she doesn't have to wear a blush. So I, um, I color corrected her cheeks with green and I blended a foundation to make for her. I mixed it with like a little bit of a brown undertone and um, uh, I wanna say like a topish foundation. And uh, it came out to be the perfect shade for her. I mixed a concealer for her as well, which worked out. And I did a powder, which really brought the look together was the bronzing. So this look today was to completely focus on bronzed day faces that you can go out and go to work with and I think I did pretty good what I know I definitely need to work on is eyeshadow applying eyeshadow and knowing exactly how to use the brush to apply it and um yeah I think I think that's pretty much it for applying makeup of what I need to work on I did I surprised myself a lot today by how much I knew how to do different skin types even though I've only done two skin types like shades that are my color or maybe a little bit darker as but now I can say I've done fair skin tones too so I'm proud of myself I pat myself on the back for that and um yeah so today was very tiring we were pretty much doing work all day by putting makeup applying makeup on our face as well as um our classmates faces and we have our first test which we are prepping for tomorrow um next weekend so i have to completely get into study mode and um just pre be prepared so um so tomorrow's video we're going to be timed i'm going to show you guys us being timed beating each other's faces on an everyday day to day to day bronze look and I'll also tell you guys about um, my experience with being in a trade school so far. Or maybe I'll make that into a separate video. Leave a comment below and let me know if you guys want that to be incorporated within this, um, within like one of these uh, 
vlog videos or if you would prefer for it to be a separate video because I have gone to a four-year college and have a bachelor's degree and this is my first time going to a trade school so I definitely feel like you know what leave a comment below and just let me know okay um today was tiring today was fun today was adventurous I learned new things um my classmates were kind of like eh, up in the air. They were kind of nervous because they didn't do the same partner's face. Most of them didn't do their same partner's face of what they did last weekend. So I think it was a good learning experience for my entire class. And, but um, anyways, not to be rambling, I will see you guys tomorrow for day two. And um, yeah, we'll be bronzing some faces. Okay, guys, so I will see you tomorrow. Peace. Okay guys, we are on weekend two, day two. We will be beating faces with the bronze goddess look for daytime for work and we will be getting time today. So I'll see you guys when I get into my classroom. Yes, I'm getting all on her face so she's doing my makeup. She's moisturizing my face right now guys. Like all this moisture. Take it in. Take it in. <laughs> I'm not laughing. I'm trying to be serious. You're trying to be serious, but you're not helping me. Why? This is good. You can go back and look at what you're doing. And then she's going to do some color correcting after this, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to match your practice. Hey you guys, so I wanted to end out this vlog properly of week two, day two. Um, as you saw in the previous clip that I, um, for class, we were doing um, practices for the final, which is going to be taking place next Saturday. And... Um, we did the evening look we were timed we were timed 30 minutes and the actual test is going to be to complete a full day face within 30 minutes um you guys already saw how my partner did my face um the instructor said that she was she did a good job and the instructor told me that i did a good job as well so i'm not worried about um actual doing the practical for the um the makeup we also decided that we my partner and i for because we're going to be partners for the test next week as well during the practical of applying the makeup we decided that we're going to bring our own foundation 
as well as our own concealer. That way we do not have to worry about mixing colors and wasting time, um, which is also a tip for you guys too. Um, if you guys are in esthetician school for tests, if your instructors allow you, or you can even ask them if you're able to bring your own foundation shade as well as your own concealer for the test. That way it doesn't take you or your partner as long to complete by trying to find your right shade because they'll already have the, pro the appropriate shade for you. Um, that's also something that I planned that I wanted to do for my state test as well. So just to throw that out there up to you guys. Um, uh, what else was I going to tell you guys? So we did the test review as well. So for next week's class on Saturday, we are going to be having the practical 30 minutes timed applying the makeup as well as the written test, which is going to be 50 multiple choice questions. We did the review for that today and I felt pretty confident. I know um, I need to just create a simple study guide of the important facts through each chapter. It's gonna be through chapters one through 12. If you guys um, want me to create a, want me to show you guys how I create a study guide for me studying for the first exam, um, definitely leave a comment below and I will give you guys tips on how you can make a perfect study guide so you can pass your tests. Um, I'm gonna focus on the definitions, the vocabulary words that we have basically within each chapter. I need to focus on um, facial structures, knowing how to contour certain facial structures, what I want to, what needs to be receded and what needs to be um, more defined in facial structures. I need to focus on eyes, I need to know the scientific terms of the bone structures in the face. Um, so yeah, I have a few things that I know I definitely need to touch up on other than me just um, reviewing the chapters on my own throughout last week. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on that this week, little by little. So that way come Saturday, I will be prepared and I will pass that test with flying colors. Um, the minimum for passing any test, and that goes for the state board as well for the written exam is to get a 75, I believe. Do not quote me, I know it's in the 70s, that's the lowest you can get. So it kind of leaves room for error, but we don't want any errors. We do not want any errors. So um, I have my study guide, well not my study guide, my notebook here that they gave us for everything that we should be looking at. And I also have um, another notebook where I took notes and that's where I'm gonna create my study guide from. Um, I will, like I said, if you guys want to see how I am studying and how I'm doing my study guide, definitely leave a comment below and I will help you guys with that. Today's class was pretty easy compared to yesterday's because yesterday's, we were doing a lot more hands-on work and we were on our feet literally from like, I wanna say almost 12 o'clock until our lunch break, which is like 2.30. And then when we came back, we were back on our feet again until about 4.30. So everyone was pretty exhausted, um, but everyone feels pretty much prepared. They were trying to, my class, since it's a small class of 10 girls, they were trying to create a group chat for us to all study from. And I was like, I don't work, I don't study well in groups. Like I'm not against it at all, honestly, but I feel like I actually take in the information more by myself than what I do with a whole bunch of people. And um, yeah, I had fun today in today's class. We got out early, we got out at two o'clock. And, um, um, but I'm going to go ahead and get myself ready for bed tonight, as well as doing a little bit of studying. And I will see you guys in my next video for next week of my esthetician vlog. Um, once again, I'm attending Christine Valmy, um, esthetician school. So if you guys have any questions in regards to that school, leave a comment below and I will try my best to answer them. And also, um, I know this clip is coming out of nowhere. I was recording on my camera all day and then my camera died. But I wanted to end this vlog out properly. And if I didn't do it tonight, I felt like I would have been scrambling through the rest of the week to try and finish this for you guys. So I said, let me end this properly, which I am. Okay guys, so um, I will talk to you later. Have a good night, have a good morning whenever you guys are watching this and I will see you later.